Hello. I would like to give a warm welcome to Rodrigo Orantia. He's a curator of State of Things, and he will present to us the participating artists. Thank you. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming to Lance Krona. My name is Rodrigo Orantia, uh, and I am the curator of a project called the State of Things. We won the Lance Krona open call in the 2020 version of Lance Krona. But because of the pandemic, we uh, are only um, here in 2022 to install the project that we started in 2020. But I wanted to give you a quick introduction to uh, the project that we have done that you can see down in the spreads that Jenny Linder expertly curated. And um, a little bit of uh, an introduction to what we have been doing as a group since 2018. So it all started with a, an invitation for photographers to think about how photography transform, transforms the three-dimensional world of uh, objects into a flat world of immaterial images. And how uh, these different practices of the different artists uh, would take these images back into the realm of the material. So we, we start, that was the initial statement for the conversation, how, how photographers uh, then bring these immaterial images back to the world of objects. Uh, and then we started thinking about printmaking and printmaking processes, uh, how photographers sometimes use uh, giclée or C prints or different techniques or uh, print in the lab. But I was very keen to get photographers thinking about paper, about inks, about layers, about transparency, and all of the different things that you get uh, in the world of printmaking. So uh, doing a lot of research, we came across uh, riso printing, risography, or risography, which is a, a, a machine invented in Japan, and it was uh, an eco version of a photocopy machine. But it's been taken by artists, and it's been taken by now by printmakers, and I hoped uh, artists working with photography could make the most of, um, of that process. So this is Hannah Hughes that you see here with, with us, one of the artists of the, uh, of the group. Uh, we got offered uh, by the University of uh, Manchester, by the, the School of Art in Manchester, to come up uh, to their print room and work with their riso print. So uh, the, the five artists, or four artists, because Barbell was work, working from, and here's Barbell uh, as well, was working from Germany, uh, we started, we had one day to print in the riser machine. So it was going from never printing in the riser machine before to just having one day to finish the publication. So uh, it was very, as you can see, very intuitive. There's Hannah working with the different colors and different inks that the machine can, um, can produce. And uh, we printed over five sessions uh, in the summer of 2018 to uh, produce the publication that we have on our table, which is the original idea of called Material Immaterial. So we had that publication in 2018, uh, but also we discovered by printing that the, the rollers of the machine needed at least 50 copies to gather ink. So we started reusing the same stock of paper to, um, to load the, the inks for the next artist. And a lot of crazy accidents, haphazard over layers and different things started happening. And we all fell in love with the tests rather than the final prints. So we decided to create uh, here, just working in the dummies of the publication, how it was going to um, work. 
but there's uh, the idea of the test prints. So we got invited to Cosmos uh, Books in Arles to do a, uh, a pop-up um, performance where we would uh, bind and staple um, what we called test books. And here we are. Uh, this is 2018. That's Hannah Barbo and uh, Sian Bonnell and myself in Arles making these books. It was so popular that then we got another invitation to keep on working with the test prints and, uh, and we did the same thing in um, a live binding performance in uh, Paris at Offprint. So we gathered all the different tests into, um, into a special publication. But it wasn't until 2019 that we finally got the, the, the publications that you see here. When we did, I then started thinking about a new stage of that same project. And we sent it as an idea for Lance Corona, which was called uh, The State of Things. And The State of Things, basically, what we wanted to do was to think about Lance Corona uh, or imagine Lance Corona as a state of things, as uh, not just like a, a state, as in like a territory, but also a state in terms of a moment a, and, and a state of matter changing or like a, a, a state might be like a specific uh, point in a transition or a transformation. And it would be uh, taking the learning that we had from material in material and bringing it as a, an, an experimental, uh, an experimental say, installation or an experimental performance to be held here in Lance Corona in 2020. So we sent it over and uh, I, I, it was quite nerve, we were quite nervous because we couldn't show the images that we were going to make. We only had the idea and we wanted to come to Lance Corona and see the space and create the work here in Lance Corona. Uh, fortunately, we were uh, selected by uh, Monica and Jenny and the jury in 2020, uh, and we were very excited. But as soon as that happened, uh, COVID hit, and we went into in the UK uh, into full lockdown. So it was uh, we either stopped or we uh, developed something that we could do. Uh, online or digitally, but if you kind of think about the nature of this project and how material it is with the papers and the different kind of hands-on uh, alternatives, we then developed a, I wanted to do a printed publication that then you can post. So we have these publications, they are uh, fold-outs, and then you can find them uh, by our spreads. and. Uh, what I did was I asked each of the artists to send me uh, an image that was going to become a seed idea for something that we would develop in two years from 2020 to 2022, which at that time seemed like an eternity. But like, yeah, we've got enough time, there's two years, and it was like that. But we got these images, uh, as you see here, and you can explore a bit more uh, on the stands, each of the images kind of represents the practices of each of the artists. Um, I, this is where my presentation becomes show and tell, <laughs> rather than uh, I thought, why do I show a slide of something that you can see in real life? So uh, I'm going to show you rather than anything. Uh, so the, the, the five artists that we have here have a very particular and very, very um, staple practices that are very easily recognizable during the process. So uh, Barbell here was working with the shape of a container. So Barbell lives in Hamburg, and what she did was a, a performance that you can see there in the video, where she, um, with walking on the sand of the beach, limited the space of a container, and we the idea was to then bring that space into Lance Krona and develop something in the um, in in this port. 
Then uh, HANA. HANA works with um, discarded uh, packaging, uh, transforming it into sculpture, but also into printed uh, sort of figures that you can see in the installation that we've got there. She made a, uh, a sort of wallpaper that transcends the spread and comes out the other side uh, with a vocabulary of these objects becoming uh, some shapes that then go on to build uh, more complex installations and sculptures. Uh, Joshua uh, Bilton, who's there as well, uh, his practice is all about uh, tact tactility. So how these objects that he then photographs become ceramic objects that you will see there in his collection. And it's all about the touch. And so the very poetic image of the hands making the sort of negative space where these uh, objects will reside. And uh, Tom Lovelace, uh, what he does is he wants people to react to, the, to what he calls these kind of photogram malleable matter, which is, uh, is basically, you'll see them in the installation as well, uh, some black photograms that you can then tear, fold, wear, put them in the floor, or interact. And his work is all about how audiences interact with the photographic, with the preciousness of the photographic paper against uh, whatever you can do um, in, the, in the sort of materialness of it. And finally, uh, Eugenia, who's not feeling well, unfortunately, I wanted to uh, introduce you to Eugenia as well. She, uh, her, I think her great grandparents were, were from Landskrona, or, or were stationed in Landskrona at some time, and then migrated, emigrated from Landskrona from Sweden to Argentina. So she was trying to sort of trace back the whole idea of migration and, <clears throat> and made this, uh, I've got it here, sorry, this is barbells, but uh, each of these images would have become the centerfold of, uh, of one of the publications. And we posted these publications all over the world. So there's a lot of these images that ended up in America and Japan and different places. And the idea was for people to then respond. So Eugenia's image, which was this here that you can see up in the installation, she got a lot of responses written. Uh, uh, someone wrote a poem about it. And then she cut this up and started uh, modeling into different objects. And the final iteration of the object is the kite that you see hanging from, uh, from the ceiling. So it's, it, it's co it completes this kind of journey from object to image to publication and from publication back to being an object and from an object back to being a, a sculpture. So, so that's a sort of really brief presentation. I know we've, we've got five, ten minutes for some questions. Um, I would love, if you can, uh, for you to go and have a look. There is, it's very tactile, the, the things that we want to do. So uh, Barbel also brought a lot of um, images from her uh, series of indestructible objects uh, that are Another thing that we really wanted to do is um, allow people to take things with them, to, to that, that material become uh, a way of communication that is kind of like anti-digital. So uh, a lot of the prints you can take with you, these foldouts you can take with you, they've got the, the information about Landskrona, but uh, Barbell also brought some other prints that are in a stack and Tom Lovelace sent a stack of uh, his um, photograms also for people to be able to take them. So it's, it's, it's participation and also being able to uh, take things with you. I think that's, that's uh, as quick an introduction as I can uh, muster. I, I don't know if there's any specific things that you would like to say, Hannah or Barbell. I would love uh, also any questions, uh, but if not, then I will invite you to come and have a look at the installation down at the Spreads. Thank you.
Then thank you so much, Rodrigo, for your presentation. Thank you very much. There you go. Let's leave it there.